Bob Hasegawa, your state senator for the 11th Legislative District, and we've just started the ses second session of the 66th Legislature of the State of Washington. So when I mean the second session is that this is a sh short session. A uh, legislature is convened for a two-year period. You probably know that. So in the first year, we write a budget as well as pass policy bills. And in the off year, which this is, we theoretically don't have to do a budget, even though we always end up doing a budget anyway, and pass policy bills. So this is a 60-day session this year. And because it's such a short session, we're going to be jamming, trying to consider a ton of bills that have been dropped recently, many of which are mine, so I have to confess. Sorry about that. Uh, but in the meantime, I have a brand new staff to work with as well. Um, many of you may know Sam Cho from last year, last couple of sessions actually. He has been my legislative assistant just uh, recently got elected to the Port of Seattle Commission, which is no small feat, believe me, so I'm very proud of him. But uh, Jenny Chang has replaced Sam as my legislative assistant now. So she's heading up our, your first point of contact with my office. Jenny is working with two other folk who are also brand new to staff. I have a session aide, Amanda Eichelberger, uh, and Max Trin is an uh, intern serving with this office this session, so hopefully you'll get a chance to chat with them. Uh, I have a lot of bills going forward right now. Uh, last session was extremely busy, and I had a pretty successful session. We passed some major pieces of legislation, uh, which I'm very proud of, and you can go to my website to see what they were. This year, uh, you know, my top priority, ongoing priority, is an probably will be for the foreseeable future to create a publicly owned bank for the state of Washington. Uh, we're making progress on that, although we've hit a little bit of a bump in the road. I'll do a little report on that some other time too. I have other bills as well. I've got facial recognition and artificial intelligence bills to protect our privacy. Several education bills. One of them deals with removing the ed TPA requirement. So teachers, uh, it, it lowers a barrier for teachers to actually teach. You know, they all go through college and have certified degrees, uh, yada, yada. But this is yet another barrier to take another superfluous test that is one of those tests owned by a private company that costs teachers a lot of money to take just to show that they're retaining what they learned in college, which doesn't make any sense. So we're trying to remove that requirement. And there's other education bills too. I have a ton of stuff going on. Uh, to get a full rundown of it, just come to my website. It'll be scrolling at the uh, bottom of your screen here. Or send me an email if you've got an idea or a thought you want me to pursue uh, this legislative session, although it's, it's pretty jammed and booked up right now. Uh, all the available committee hearing slots are pretty much filled. It happens really quickly. With those, all those bills, if you have any thoughts about them, um, please send me an email or call my office. All of this information will be scrolling through the screen. So for now, I'm Bob Hasegawa, your state senator for the 11th Legislative District, and uh, I'll see you in a couple of weeks when I do the next one of these and let you know how it's going. Thanks.